Welcome back everybody. Check this out. Yep, Phantom 4 DJI series drone here. And even got the extra flight battery. Never had a Phantom before. Always kind of dissed them a little bit because they're always the ones you see in the news that are people doing stupid things with. But the features on this one kind of blew me away a little bit. So I hope it lives up to its word. I've always been a guy that's built my own or whatever, but to have obstacle avoidance, um, just how badass the gimbal is, the telemetry, the everything about it. Disappointments I know out of the gate from what I've read from other people, battery does not last 28 minutes. Um, sounds like you'll maybe get 20 to 22 if you're lucky. Um, range 2, I know they advertise it to go I don't know, a couple miles or something like that. Some people are falling a little bit short on that as well. But anyways, uh, maybe user error, hard to say. But I just got it. I uh, got it from Best Buy. You can't beat their deal. Let's start with the battery here and see what we got. So like I said, this is all new stuff to me. Never had a DJI quadcopter before so this will be new a lot of manuals for just a battery here is a fancy new battery expensive new batteries pretty chunky pretty cool plug you guys have all seen them if you're into this yada yada comes with about that much juice in it so there you go now for the cool part of the show. Let's get into this bad boy. I haven't even opened it up yet. A um, couple basic specs. You've got an app. Yada yada. That's all you see. All you get. Look at that. Cutting the tape. I know it comes with this cool case. Pretty excited. Nothing else in the box other than that guy right there. So, it's a pretty sweet looking case, look at that. Got your locking mechanism. Pull it out, turn it. There it is, look at that thing. Pretty cool seen someone else mention the bag should be black. It is not black. This is the prop bag. Mine is gray. You've got a bunch of spares. They've all got tape around it. Their fancy little locking mechanism they spin on. Cool. So there's that. Should we just pull this bad boy right out, right out of the gate? There it is, first time I've touched it. Batteries are at the same juice. Don't seem very loose. Big hole in there for a big battery. Snaps in pretty good, feels pretty tight. Good, there's their motors with the little locking mechanisms and springs. DJI, you've got the black dots tell you where the black props go, the other ones have nothing, so that would be the other colors. Here's the included SD card. You can see that. 16 gig, that's pretty cool. That's where you plug it in to do your updates and other jazz, we'll be doing that. There is that sweet gimbal. I don't know what there's tape on that for. And there's your little sensor eyes. Can't think of what they're called exactly. Got lights. The vents are in the bottom on this model. But sensors for telling how high it is. Oh, it's got a nice little non-skid on here. That's cool. It's got the protector. You always want to take this off for you fire it up. Here's where your collision avoidance stuff is. Anybody that's interested in one of these probably knows all the specs, but 
So there is that bad boy. Here's the props. What else we got? Here is the charger. Big clunky charger. It's got a charger transmitter and this one goes to the battery. Should be some other cables for that. We get this charged up and then after work today do all the updates and hopefully get this in the air tonight. So boom there's that. So there's your charger. Done. What else? Well you got storage here for two batteries. That's pretty cool. Let's go in there like that. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. What we got? Okay. Here is this little cable. This goes when you're doing your updates, plugs into the quadcopter and then the uh, USB to my Apple device is how I'm going to roll. So for updating that, the transmitter. First time I've ever touched one of these. Interesting. Let's get this off there. goofy antennas. I think they need to go something like this. Got to clear your iPad. This has a cover on it that goes up over the top. That needs to go bye bye. Otherwise when you push these buttons, where's the buttons? There it is. It won't go up, it'll hold it down. Supposedly this will fit an iPad. I hope so. It doesn't look big enough to me. I guess we'll find out. Mm, got some juice in that. Okay, well this is good. This is pretty solid. This one's got aluminum metal. Here's your return to home button. Obviously your power button's on the other side. LEDs tell you what's going down. This is where you charge. You've got your pause button which will pause it in flight. I don't remember what that one does exactly. This one I think you can adjust the f-stop. Got a fancy sticker here. Talks about modes but you've got your I'm assuming some sort of record button. This adjusts your gimbal up or down to look up or down. This one adjusts your modes from sport and stuff like that. And on the back here you got your USB plug-ins, which I believe you can buy an updated one of these which has HD stuff in it. Let's put that on there. And then some other buttons for other stuff. So you can see it's got like auto hold level for the altitude. Doesn't feel too bad. Decent gimbals. It's a pretty expensive toy. Well, I guess it's not a toy for those that do a lot of things. DJI Care. Blah blah blah. And you got manuals and other, other stuff in there. And so from what I see, that's it folks. That's what you get. Oh, nope. There is one more plug here, which doesn't plug into anything of mine. This is a goes to a mini USB, not an iPhone, so doesn't do me any good. Anyway, there's your case. That's where she all came out of. There's your quad. So hope you enjoy. Like I said, we're going to get this all charged up, and we'll be doing a maiden tonight. It's pretty heavy. So I look forward to getting it all done, get, getting it in the air and see what she'll do. Look at that gimbal. 
Skynet's coming. <laughs> no, it's kind of stabilized up there. See that? So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure you come back because there's going to be a lot going on here with this. So, thanks for stopping by. Stopped it.